What if everything you know about power is wrong? What if the solution to our energy crisis wasn't bigger solar farms or more powerful reactors, but something infinitely smaller? Something that could fit in the palm of your hand and outlive you by centuries. The future of power isn't green, it's atomic, and it's already here. Because this uh, so-called lifetime, uh, the time the nucleus keeps that energy uh, in, its, yeah, in itself, it is so long that you can use it uh, for a energy storage. Today we're diving into one of the most electrifying and controversial breakthroughs in energy science. We're talking about nuclear batteries. But forget everything you think you know. This isn't about radioactive waste or Chernobyl in a box. This is about something far more precise, far more powerful, and frankly, far more terrifying. This is about nuclear isomers. So what is a nuclear isomer? Think of an atom's nucleus like a safe. Most are just open, but a few rare ones are locked. Their nuclei are twisted into a tense, high energy state, holding on to a colossal amount of potential energy, just waiting for the right combination to unlock it. These atomic safes can stay locked for seconds, years, or even millennia. They are the universe's ultimate energy storage devices, and for decades they've been taunting us. All that power just sitting there, utterly useless, because we didn't have the combination until now. The key? Not a crowbar, but a laser. Not just any laser, but an X-ray free electron laser, capable of firing a beam of energy with pinpoint surgical accuracy. In a recent landmark experiment, scientists aim one of these lasers at a specific isomer, hafnium 178 m 2 They fired a specific frequency of X-ray, a specific note, and the safe clicked open. The isomer released its stored energy in a controlled, massive burst of gamma radiation. They found the universe's cheat code. This isn't generating power. This is piracy. We're finding energy the universe had filed away and forgotten about. And we're cracking the vault. It's the most baller energy heist in human history. So how do you build a battery from this? The blueprint is both simple and genius. You take a tiny amount of this isomeric material, you pair it with a laser trigger system and a converter that turns the released gamma rays into electricity. The result? A power cell with an energy density that makes lithium ion look like a potato battery. A cell that could potentially deliver a trickle of power for decades or even centuries without ever needing a recharge. The energy is just on tap. The implications will short circuit your brain space exploration, probes that could send data back from Alpha Centauri, satellites with lifespans longer than the companies that launched them, medicine, pacemakers and neural implants that would last a patient's entire life, eliminating traumatic replacement surgeries, the digital world, phones that never plug in, laptops that you might charge once at purchase and then never again, the military, drones that could stay aloft for weeks, autonomous subs that could lurk in the ocean depths for a generation. This technology doesn't just change devices, it redefines longevity itself. But there is always a but, and with the word nuclear, the but is massive. We are literally talking about harnessing gamma radiation, the most penetrating dangerous form of radioactive decay, the stuff that requires feet of lead or concrete to stop. So the critical multi-trillion dollar question, is this safe? The proponents will tell you yes. The amount of material needed is microscopic. Without the exact precise laser key, the energy is completely locked away. It's inert. It can't leak. It can't melt down. It's arguably safer than the volatile chemistry in your current phone battery. But the critics, the critics have a point. What if the trigger fails and releases all that energy at once? And what if this isn't just about batteries? The very property that makes it a perfect battery, stable, incredibly energy-dense material, also makes it a theorist's dream for a new kind of weapon, a fail-safe, dirty bomb, a gamma-ray explosive, a shadowy, terrifying concept that keeps security experts up at night. We are on the verge of unlocking a new kind of fire. We can use it to keep warm, or we can use it to burn everything down. 
The next decade won't just be about engineering. It will be a global debate, a geopolitical race, a moral test. The atomic battery is no longer science fiction. It's a peer-reviewed fact in a physics journal. It promises a future of incredible convenience and exploration, a world untethered from the wall outlet. But it also demands a price. It demands that we stare into the heart of the atom, into its incredible power and its inherent danger, and decide who we really are. If you want to follow this story as it breaks, make sure to subscribe and let us know in the comments, is this a future you want to live in?